I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 U.S. Exam Calculator section. College Board describes a restaurant that at $12 per meal sells 400 meals, and for each additional 50 cents on the price, the number of meals sold goes down by 10. So if they charge $16 per meal, that is 16 minus 12 over 0.5 is 4 over 0.5 equals 8 additional 50 cents charges, which means we lose 8 times 10 is 80 sales, so the sales are 12 plus 4 more dollars is $16, the price here, times 400 minus 80 is 320. For $20, that is 20 minus 12, over 0.5 is the number of additional 50 cent charges is 8 over 0.5 is 16. So our sales is the $20 price given here times the number of meals which is 40 minus 16 times 10. 40 minus 160 is 240. I'm sorry, 400 minus 160 is 240. For $24 We now have 24 increments of 50 cents at the meal price. So our sales are $24 per meal times 400 minus 240 is 160 meals. And at 28, we have 28 minus 12 over 0.5, which is 28 minus 12 is 16. Divided by 0.5 is the same as multiplying by 2, so that gives us 32 increments in the price, which means our sales go down by 320. Sales is $28 per meal times 400 meals minus 320 meals leaves 80 meals sold. And asking my calculator, 16 times 320 is 5120. 20 times 240 is 4800. 24 times 160 is 3840. And 28 times 80 is 2240. The question was greatest sales in dollars. Choice A gives us the greatest sales in dollars, so that would be our answer. We can do this more quickly on our graphing calculator by writing the sales If I make x the number of 50 cent increments in the price, then our sales would be the price, which is 12 plus 50 cents times the number of those increments, and then times 400 minus 10 times the number of increments. And I can evaluate this on either a scientific calculator or a graphing calculator, where again I can see that this is four extra dollars, so that's x equals eight. This is eight extra dollars, so x equals sixteen. X equals twenty-four, and x equals thirty-two. And on my graphing calculator, those give me five one two zero. 4800, 3840, and 2240, where again 
the largest sales is choice A. The college board will often ask you to write an equation from a paragraph, so make sure this whole process makes sense. Think through it very carefully so you don't get lost or tangled in the details. And come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.